All right, so coming to the end of the week here, I wanted to make sure that uh, I got something uploaded. I'm still working out quite a few things uh, for the next Dragon OS ISO, but you will find on SourceForge an ISO uploaded with a preview at the end of the name, uh, Dragon OS Focal 14 Preview, and it's got everything I could uh, get in there thus far uh, with some minor things still to work out. So let's take a quick look at um, the big um, feature or at least I'm excited about it, the RF propagation and modeling. This is running on a laptop right now, live from a USB stick. And so this doesn't take long at all just to do your first uh, plot and start jumping into some RF uh, propagation and modeling. So all we got to do is make a directory in the var log. Uh, patchy 2. Now if you choose to install this latest ISO, um, that's fine too. You you won't have to make that directory. You could just jump right in and start Apache 2. You'll open up a browser. You'll go to localhost splat and you'll find I've left a uh, information about the signal server website so the Dr. Bill Walker has also uh, got a site up running this uh, basically almost this the same setup here and so a lot of this information is really helpful uh, Dragon OS does include uh, a database um, but some of the you know verbiage as far as uh, login IPs and um, that's referencing if you went to a website or hosted this just kind of giving someone um, some information about what's being done with the data but because everything is local here that really does not apply for this situation so anyways just figured I'd point that out uh, all we need to get going is some elevation data so we'll open this individual HGT files link here that for right now works uh, there's uh, other locations that you can get SRTM data from uh, both level 3 and level 1 uh, but for this web GUI, we're just going to use standard definition uh, SRTM data, which this site uh, provides here. And all we need to get going is uh, we're going to download L13. As well as, let's see, actually, I think you can probably get away with we'll do K13 and we'll do J13 so I think it's just J and K is really all you need so we'll download this elevation data and while that's downloading we'll change into the downloads directory and you'll see it's uh, we're getting three zip files there longer something else we're going to need because everything is not uh, built into Dragon OS yet to open up and display the KMZ file and through testing uh, literally just now I found that uh, the Google Earth uh, KMZ is um, and I think it's because a feature was added uh, to display a legend and, and I'll, I'll show a little bit more but if we just search cesium KMZ editor and I'll put this link in the description uh, we can use an online um, editor that's available here and I will link directly to this it's uh, vision.space and the cesium and you can see the rest there so this is what we're going to use to open our propagation modeling for right now because I find that this uh, does work and this is something like this will be what is built into Dragon OS by default alright let's see if we're done downloading alright so we just need to unzip one step the J13 and the K13 and then what we're going to do is we'll use sudo and we'll just move 
just like I'm doing here, basically telling it all the H dot anything that ends in dot HGT and J13, uh, the folder, we're going to move it to user source SDF, which is where the map data is going to be referenced. And we'll do the same for K13. You can see there's all these um, dot HGT files in there. And we'll move that to SDF. Then we're going to change into user source signal server where I have some tools if you wanted to run command line or you wanted to get uh, even more advanced you can do that in here but what we're going to use is the get tiles sh which was just uh, some scripts that I pulled down and I modified a little bit it's just going to look at the user source SDF directory and it's going to take, take all the .hgt T files and convert them to SDF. So this is going to take um, a second. I will be back. All right, I'm back. All of the files were converted, and we can confirm that by looking in the user source SDF directory, and we see we've got what we need now. So with that out of the way, and and I guess I should point out if you have installed this. Dragon OS and you have an external drive or you have enough storage space you can uh, obviously uh, download as much map data as you need needed for any location shove it all in there run and convert it all and then you can just continue to build that um, directory of map data and have that so you won't need to do anything online alright so now that we have that map data we'll come back and we're going to enroll uh, a call sign or a uh, basically just the name of a transmitter, whatever you want to call it. And I'll just just use one, two, three, four, five for right now. I'll leave the lat and long as is because that is what the elevation data is going to cover. You can change the antenna height, but I'll just leave it as is. We'll submit registration that's what gets entered into the database and we'll come back and we'll call up one two three four five search a database we see it's there now this is a page where you can put um, some more uh, or change the frequency the watts the radius that you want to plot uh, the transmitter height again or the targets antenna height I'll just bump this up to a thousand watts just to so we can see the actual KMZ and then propagation. And uh, let's see, uh, line of sight, longly right, longly rice plot. We'll leave for now, and we'll come back and take a look at the difference of a line of sight plot. And we'll say no to any other station locations in the database. Once you build up enough transmitters, you could um, plot them all on the map. So we'll create a plot. All right, we see we've got uh, the image here we can take a look at. A difference being a legend has been added so that you know the power levels uh, and what they um, correspond to color-wise. Uh, to be honest, I think that the addition of this uh, may be what created the black box uh, in or on Google Maps so we'll have to figure that out but for now we can download this KMZ file we can jump over to the uh, cesium KML uh, editor here and we'll look in our downloads folder and we'll import this KMZ file and so once imported, we can uh, fly to that destination. And we'll give it a second. And we can change uh, the map data as needed. And so we've got our plot on here now. Uh, a little, little hard to make out the uh, 
raft there so uh, we'll have to figure that figure that out a little bit there but so that is our propagation model you can zoom in out you can tilt it 3d uh, with the elevation data and uh, choose what map data that you want uh, now like I had pointed out the goal would be this would be all contained within Dragon OS and so about got it there uh, all right so now we've got that plot let's come back and we'll take a look at uh, another type of plot we'll do the same thing here uh, except for we'll do a line of sight plot and we'll create that let's see stick with the same er, create this you'll see a slight difference this is just going to show you line of sight and we'll download the KMZ file we'll jump over here we'll open the second one and so now we can see uh, from our transmitter where our line of sight would be so two different things and you can get this up and going really quickly uh, just follow the links in the description and just follow along here as long as you got the map data you should be able to uh, be doing this uh, over the weekend